is taking a toll on just about everything. That includes Southern Arizona's wine industry. 13 News reporter Alex Valdez spent the day speaking with a few wineries and has more on how this summer's heat is impacting the vines. Valerie Vineyards down here in Sonoida are hoping and praying for cooler temperatures in the coming weeks, not only to help the grapes growing on the vines, but to encourage tourists to visit Arizona's wine country. The vines are definitely struggling, struggling a little bit um, with the heat. Megan Stradnick, the owner of AZ Hops and Vines, says this scorching summer is like nothing they have ever seen. However, she says recent monsoon moisture and the higher elevation is helping their crops adapt to the heat. But we have them on drip irrigation and luckily we're at a 5,000 feet in elevation, so we are a little cooler than uh, Tucson. Stradnick expects an earlier harvest because of above average temperatures. She tells me because it's so hot, the grapes are ripening more quickly, which will impact the taste of the wine. As it's so hot, the sugar, the sugar will go up in the wine, which means the alcohol will go up in the wine. So we want to make sure that the alcohol isn't too high and the acidity in the wine isn't too low. Randy Norton, an expert with the University of Arizona, says the southern part of the state has suffered significant heat stress, which means the temperature of the plant is elevated to the point where issues with reproduction, formation of fruit, and poor pollen can take place. It's driven in part by daytime temperatures, but really what's what is correlated better with level two heat stress is nighttime temperatures. So really, we see issues when the nighttime temperature stays above 80 to 85 degrees. That's when the plant has a real difficult time cooling itself. It's not just high temperatures. Winemakers are also keeping an eye on potential wildfires. Lori Reynolds with Sonoida Vineyard says in early March, a wildfire destroyed five acres of their crops. Even if you're mowing out, you can hit a rock and spark a wildfire. So you need to just be really careful. Um, while you're outside in Arizona, it's actually, it's always windy down here. So one little spark and it's going to be a blaze. Once again, the extreme temperatures we are experiencing down here in southern Arizona isn't just impacting crops, but also tourism. Both owners tell me the heat is causing many visitors to postpone their trips, which is also taking a hit from their business. Reporting from Sonoida, Alex Valdez, 13 News. All right.